the southern tier of New York lays a handful of small malls, and today we'll be taking a look at the Olean Center Mall, a quiet, vintage mall hidden away in New York's hills that maintains its vintage charm. Olean Center Mall held a groundbreaking ceremony in June 1976, beginning construction for the mall under a collaborative effort between Olean El Alcove Castle Incorporated and Zamaya Services. In total, the project came in at the low, low price of $10 million. Like with many malls in smaller towns, Olean Center Mall's construction was delayed beforehand by legal and economic issues. However, construction would finally begin, and El Alcove Castle would begin committing to signing on tenants for the mall, with the mall projected to bring forward 22 tenants and three department stores. Meanwhile, Zamias would be signed on for management at the mall, and eventually take full ownership of the mall. In August 1977, the mall would open its doors for grand opening, boasting AM and A's, Hills, and a junior anchor known as Sample. The mall was overall a hit and would immediately see major community events, most notably of which was former Yankees outfielder Mickey Mantle coming in to sign autographs, address local reporters, and promote his new book titled Whitey and Mickey. What a name. Olean Center Mall unfortunately faced significant problems by the 90s, and by this point, a new shopping center on the west side of town would open, and this would start to siphon larger name tenants away from the Olean Center Mall. This included the movie theater, as well as some larger name restaurants. J.C. Penney, fortunately, would come into the scene in the 90s, taking the place of the old three-screen cinema once present at the mall. Meanwhile, Hills would get taken over by Ames, and this would be such a bad idea, costing Ames its life once it had finally closed in 2002. J.C. Penney saw an opportunity in the void left behind by Ames, and in 2006 would ditch its dinky movie theater space and overhaul the Ames pad to its specifications before opening up there. While J.C. Penney and its shoppers were happy with the new space, this would still leave empty space. Stephen Barry's attempted to fill in the movie theater, but would close altogether. Maybe inflating your store numbers rapidly is a bad idea unless you're Walmart. If that Kohl's store looks awkward to you, that's because it kinda is. Kohl's came into the picture in 2012 and would gut the cinema in a few additional spaces to build a larger store. This would bring them all up to three anchors and dampen the impact of Sample leaving the picture some time ago, of which was briefly replaced by a fashion bug. AM&As would also have been replaced by Bonton ages ago, However, as time went on, the mall's coexistence with the west side would start to deteriorate as more and more stores began to leave. Bonton would have closed down in August 2018, along with the rest of the chain, and the space would become home to seasonal pop-ups like that spirit Halloween. As of the making of this video, there are no plans for the mall. History remains relatively quiet in the public light even today, but it appears that this mall is still open after the trash fire of 2020, and the coming potential disaster of the next 5 to 10 years. Nonetheless, 
We can only wait and see what may come of the mall and what the new owners have in store for it. Even though much of its history remains shrouded in mystery, there was still plenty available for such a small mall. And just like that, we're already almost done with the tour. Overall, I had found the mall rather charming and pleasant to walk. You have the funky central skylight, the planters, and that very reflective border around the skylights before Bonton and J.C. Penny. It's just a shame that the interior continues to slip away. Nonetheless, if you're in the area, I would certainly recommend a visit to this mall. Thanks for having me, Olean. And until next time, this is Doomy Grunt wishing you and the Olean Center Mall farewell and good luck in the future. Thank mm -hmm. you.